What is going on, YouTube? PPS back. It is the 8th of November. We're coming at you guys for one play on this extremely small sports day, um, election day. Go out and vote, guys. Um, and do all that stuff, obviously. Um, that is why there's no NBA today. 15 games last night was nuts. It was a very busy day for your boy here, um, working on slates across everything. So, yeah, it's kind of nice to have a little bit slower day. Um, but... Without, I mean, we still got the best best sport action you can have, right? We got my action today. Um, we got midweek football. Can't can't beat it. Um, but let's get through a recap. And yesterday was killer, killer, killer um, on the freebies here. Cade crushed it. This ended up getting to 125, I think, was on FanDuel prior to tip. That was nice and easy. He crushed this. He crushed this in the third quarter, right? And one non-sweaty one, and then one real, real sweaty one. Buddy Heel beats this by a half with a rebound, just like we talked about his rebounds and assist opportunities are definitely ticking up. I believe he had eight or nine rebounds and assists, which was awesome. Still sniping. Um, did have a collab with V-Money. Um, that was SGA 28.5 points. Also had SGA 25 with Banchero 20 points um, for our past the Prop show. The Pass the Prop Show, complete sweep, complete sweep. That's five and a half units for you guys if you were able to jump in over there. Hopefully you were. That show was epic. Uh, we kind of felt real good after the show. Uh, after there, we kind of talked for a little bit, and it, it just felt good. Everything felt on point, point. Um, and I'm hoping we can bring it into today. So if you guys could, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Um, again, I appreciate all the support, as always. Um, but it's time to go. We got Mash in here. And we're going to midweek dogs. We're going to Akron. We're going to Akron Zips. This is FanDuel um, that allows you to, to go to alternate. And I'm just going to buy the half a point here. I will end up showing you where I'm at here on FanDuel. Um, so you just go to um, minus, 110, minus, 10, minus 110. And then you go to alt spread 7.5 minus 122. Um, I absolutely love this spot. I, I've backed Eastern Michigan in the past. Um, and I've faded Akron in the past. But what I really think is the key component of this game is DJ Iron's play. This dude has been fantastic. He's their leading rusher. He's their leading passer, obviously. This dude has been electric lately, right? Um, obviously, looking at their pass schedule, they are 1-8. and eight. I think that's why we're seeing this here. Um, obviously, just lost to Miami. They just I think they haven't won a game since the first game of the season. So, what was that? Eight-game losing streak in a row. But... They kept it close, right, in a lot of these games, right? They had a seven-point loss to Central Michigan, um, six-point loss to Kent State. Obviously, Miami of Ohio beat them pretty easily. But Iron still ended with 316, 58 rushing yards, right? He's a main component of this offense. But what I like here and what I'm going to end up talking about Eastern Michigan a little bit here in a second is he's got some weapons, right? He's got three receivers over 500 receiving yards so far this season. George Adams and Jock Luis. All of them have been great. Alex Adams has five touchdown receptions. This this defense is a bend don't break defense in terms of they're able to stop the run pretty well. Um, I, I was looking at their past schedule here. We have some pretty decent teams, right? We had Luke's from um, Central Michigan cook against them there, but even against Kent State, right? Marquez Cooper, fantastic, one of my favorite guys in the MAC to to watch. He had 137 yards, but it was on 28 carries, right? That's under five yards a carry. Right, we go into the last game right against Miami of Ohio. They had 13 carries for 52 yards. That was their leading rusher, right? That's nothing. That's that's not a defense there that's getting crushed rushing, right? Obviously, Luke's did crush him. He had multiple big runs of 30 plus, so that obviously um, definitely raises the average there. But Eastern Michigan's offense is rough, guys. It is very rough. I really don't know how they're scoring even with the scene that they have right now, because you look at them, Taylor Powell is a starting quarterback. Um, he's obviously started most of the games, but not, he's not that good, right? He's been replaced for a few of these games, been injured. Um, and they're really relying on Samson Evans to do the heavy lifting. Right. And that's going to rely on the running game. But if they're not able to get this running game going, I don't see this offense moving the ball at all. Right. We just talked about Akron having five or three receivers over 500 yards. 
or Eastern Michigan doesn't have one, right? Their top guy, Tanner New, who's pretty good, is averaging 46 yards per game, guys. Like, that is not good. If this game is a game script where Akron jumps out quick, which Irons has been playing good football, right? If they get out quick, I don't know what Eastern Michigan is going to do, right? I don't think they're going to be able to throw the ball around on these guys just because I don't think that the talent is there to do that. And it, Akron knows they got to stop the run. If you're able to stop this run, I think Akron has a chance to actually win this game outright. Obviously, in the MAC, everything is crazy. No lead is safe. I usually don't do spreads in the MAC. I'm usually more of a totals guy, but I just feel like there's value here with this extra um, hook. Like I said, popping over on Fanduel lets you get that little bit extra. Obviously, I never thought I'd back a team on an eight-game losing streak, but I think the strengths of Akron definitely are going to be matching up with the strengths of Eastern Michigan, and I think that they'll have a chance to stop that run. If they're able to slow Samson Evans down, I, I would love the chance to have Akron facing off against uh, Powell here in a straight drop back time, right? I just don't think that they have the weapons. I think this Akron defense can bend and not break. And I also think um, Irons has been good enough to get the job done for us in this game and keep it close. Akron obviously has covered two out of the last three and three out of the last five in here. So they're another dog. Obviously, I don't expect um, a lot of people to be on the dog in this one, but give me some zips. Akron zips plus seven and a half so far this year on college football. We are 15 and 11, 3.88 units. Looking forward to adding win number 16 here. So Again, guys, if you like the content, smash that like button, and hopefully we'll be able to talk about another winner tomorrow on a pretty big NBA slate. So have a good one, guys. Best of luck, and let's crush it.